1825 in Regency England, and King George IV indulges his love of pageantry and pomp with a very grand procession from Windsor to the races at Ascot. So strikingly successful is it, the royal procession becomes a permanent fixture. Royal Ascot, yes, in this jubilee year, it is indeed royal. Her Majesty the Queen, the Duke and Duchess of York and the Prince of Wales drive up the new mile in a state landau drawn by the famous Windsor Grey. The distinctive Landau carriages with their basket weave sides have carried royalty across generations. Now the Queen with Princess Elizabeth drives through the beautiful gates, really golden this year for the first time since 1910. Grey horses have been pulling the monarch's carriages since Georgian times. Landor drivers, postillions, have always worn a special Ascot livery, inspired by the royal racing colours. The weather was kind for Gold Cup Day at Ascot, and the Queen was able to make the traditional drive through the Golden Gates and up the course. At 2pm, precisely, the Windsor Greys lead the procession down the straight mile. Some suggest the going of the course can be determined by listening to how the carriage runs on the track. The sun breaks through the clouds to welcome their majesty, the king and queen. The procession arrives at its final destination in the parade ring. Today, just as in 1825, the Royal Ascot procession continues to be an enthralling and riveting spectacle of royalty and racing. <laughs>